Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see love and the general for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of April 2023. So watch this video if you're a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're dealing with one, keep in mind these are general readings, so it may or may not resonate. If it do not resonate, do not try to deliberately fit in, check in any other placement. If you want to have a personal reading, link is in the description if you want to follow my instagram where i share free uh weekly horoscopes and astrological tips which words and like a lot of stuff for free of course you know <laughs> so if you want to uh you know know all of that then you can head to my instagram the links are in the description box below so now let us see messages for sagittarius for april 2023 so we'll start with the oracle message and then we'll go to your tarot, okay? That's how we jump go. So give me a message for Sagittarius for the month of April 2020. So we have bring love into the situation. So I see that um, Sagittarius, you need to be a little more, uh, you know, like kind to yourself and loving towards yourself. I see that you might be overly critical about something in your life or just like in general in your life you might be a little over critical so that's that some of you with the new moon card here i also see that you need to bring more love into the situation be open to bring in new opportunities don't try to close yourself off you know sometimes when we go through difficulties in our life we become very overly productive because we don't want to get hurt so don't do that i see that you might have endured some sort of a loss or pain or whatever don't become overly protective uh, open yourself to new opportunities and you might just come across people and opportunities out of nowhere but if you're like too um you know like suspicious from the get-go things will not manifest so that's that now let's take one more card from this deck for you sagittarius give me a message for sagittarius we have expand your horizon the exact thing that i was saying you know sometimes you really need to like explore your options put yourself in out of your comfort zone uh try new experiences uh be in new places meet new people come across new situations whatever so you need to expand your horizon i see that you are very comfortable in your comfort zone and you have been there for a very long time now it's time to put yourself out of that so that you can come across new opportunities and new possibilities in life right so that is that some of you maybe you should travel to a new place maybe take up a new job or maybe change your location or just like if you have been going for shopping at a one particular place for like so many months or years like maybe try try going to a different place you know uh, if you have been going to the same restaurant for a very long time maybe try a, try a different one basically put yourself in new situations so that new things can come in your life if you keep on doing the same thing you will keep on living the same life we don't want that right so that is that expand your horizons some of you also travel if you don't travel really travel because it um expands your brain you know it expands your mindset and if you cannot afford traveling then just as i said you know maybe go to a different grocery store or maybe go to a different restaurant this time maybe go to a different place you know like just go to a different place than your usual and that'll be good okay now let's see your tarot messages give me the present energy for sagittarius present energy for sagittarius okay yeah so we have strength in the eight of cups both eight by the way eight and eight so you know major transformations happening eighth house is the house of transformation in astrology and we have eight and eight so i see that definitely you know you have uh overcome something very very difficult for i think in the last 16 months or so um your life has like completely shifted <laughs> completely and i also see that before this episode you were very pampered you were very pampered you were always taken care of or you were like very um you were someone who did not endure that kind of a pain this level of a pain that you had but i see in last 16 16 8 to 16 months you've definitely gone through something supreme and it has completely um changed your life and it has completely changed your outlook in life basically and i see that after this episode you have become very very mature you know so that's what it is i also see that when you were going through this difficult situation there was nobody at your rescue like you have uh, gone through this situation all by yourself and you've come out victorious all by yourself and I, you have discovered this new sense of inner strength within you so your inner strength has kind of pulled you out of this out of the situation and that is what is keep 
what is keeping you go yeah so so i see that you have been just relying on your own self you have been st standing tall for yourself and you are able to overcome a difficult situation because of your own inner strength nobody's coming to your rescue you are rescuing yourself that's what i see okay what else and maybe that's why you need to bring more love in the situation because you've gone through so much you've closed off yourself so you need to like bring in that love back in your life and start trusting people again just because you've come across few shitty people does not mean the whole world is shitty it's just that you met some shitty people in your past that's that all right so what else for Sagittarius please what's coming towards Sagittarius next yeah six of uh, six of pentacles talks about support talks about people coming in and helping so I see that if you will meet new people and if you will put yourself in new situations and if if you will like expand your horizon you will come across people who want the best for you you know six of pentacles is when people come in and they help you so i see that you will be coming across people who are on the same frequency and these are the people who want the best for you and they they want to support you but for all of that you have to come out of this dark times of yours like mentally you are still there physically you are moving on but mentally you're still stuck stuck in those dark times you need to come out of that and you need to be more optimistic in life once again and if you will be things are getting balanced for you some of you i also see that if you have been wanting financial support so maybe a loan of you yours gets sanctioned or maybe somebody's going to help you financially to come out of a difficult time all right so that's that i also see that the balance and harmony is going to come back in your life nine of ones so yeah you are once again becoming hopeful and optimistic about your life and i see that you are coming out of difficult times by your sheer willpower so that's that so yeah being hopeful about life once again <laughs> but just be sure that you don't try to do things in a haste because haste makes waste so uh, think through and then get into stuff and it's going to be beneficial for you okay now let's see your love life sagittarius give me the present energy for sagittarius and love ace of pentacles wow talks about new beginnings some of you there could be an opportunity for love with a new person could be an earth sign that you're connecting with four of ones at the bottom of the deck wow so you are definitely heading towards a new beginning in your love life some of you it could be an aquarius could be an earth sign could be a fire sign so there, there's a lot of potential when it comes to your love life some of you you may meet somebody through family all right or maybe in a family setup or like a typical traditional setup you know so that's that maybe you went for a housewarming somewhere and you come across somebody there so that might be that or you went in a you know like get together or family gatherings or whatever and you meet somebody there so that is also possible or maybe a party or event or whatever but yeah i definitely see when it comes to your love life there are opportunity coming in there's an opportunity coming in and it's a new beginning right so it's a new beginning uh what is the blockage for sagittarius and love Four of Cups, the blockage, honey, you don't pay attention, you know. <laughs> Your blockage is that you're not paying attention. You feel like, oh my God, my life is screwed. Nobody wants me. You see how this person is having their hand on their head and they feel like it's screwed. They're not paying attention to this boy who's still coming up with a cup for this person, but they're not, they're like sad. They are dissatisfied. So I see that right now you might be a little dissatisfied in your life. And because you've gone through so much and you know you've become very strong and whatever but you've also become very harsh on yourself so you're not recognizing the potential so that is that the blockage i also see is that you feel like there is there's not enough you feel like no matter what i do nobody's gonna appreciate or i will never find love or blah 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 your message is to not be pessimistic like open yourself again open yourself to opportunities look around because there is an opportunity around you you're not paying attention you know Four of Cups talk that there is an opportunity. There is, there is this boy standing with a cup behind you, but you're not paying attention. So there is somebody around you who's like loving you. They want to be in your life. There is an opportunity for love. You're not paying attention. So something you need to take care of. Don't miss on to opportunities. Don't sabotage opportunities. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some of you also see that you're very worked up. You have so much on your plate these days, like a lot of responsibilities, which is not letting you see love. So it's like at one point you crave a relationship, but on the other hand, you're so worked up and so many responsibilities and so much of work in your life that you don't have time for it. <laughs> so you need to make, make some space, make some time for your love life, you know, put yourself out and like explore your options. You can't like want to be in a relationship and then just doing your career thing all the day long. So that's not possible. If you want love to come in your life, you also need to like put yourself out. Yeah. 
that's that okay so give me some information about this person on Sagittarius mind what are the feelings towards Sagittarius three of cups somebody wants to connect with you and I also see that you have an intuition that somebody likes you <laughs> so somebody's actions kind of make you wonder whether this person likes me or not you have an intuition that uh, there is somebody around you in a very close network circle or somebody who you might have met at a public gathering or an event or some party or whatever and you have an intuition that somebody likes you turns out your intuition is right enough cups <laughs> so there is definitely somebody around you who you think likes you and they like you so you are right about this person what is this person's uh, feelings towards Sagittarius? This person on Sagittarius mind. What are their feelings? Yeah, Queen of Sword. Uh, so some of you Sagittarius, uh, this person is like a gold bitch. So they have a lot of love for you and whatever. But this person, uh, their feelings towards you is a Queen of Sword. So this person tries to hide their feelings. Some of you also see that they themselves might be going through something very difficult in their life which has made them very cold as well so you both be mirroring each other right now maybe so this person that you are coming across is also someone who has been going through a lot which has kind of made them very cold and very you know detached in their approach however there's a lot of love this person wants to work it out with some of you this is somebody in your work space somebody like around you uh even if it's not in your workspace i see that this person the career the finance the personal life is keeping them busy but they have a lot of feelings for you <laughs> all right what is this person's next action towards Sagittarius please seven of cups with the hierophant see somebody's like this person wants wants the commitment with you they want to take this to the next level hierophant but uh the next action is still very confused so some of you I see that this person is going to be very in and out so at one point they'll be like yeah I want this with you but then they will like switch it and they will like retract and then they will come and then they will retract so that might be a thing with them in the month of april you will still be a bit confused when it comes to this love you know because um they have feelings for you they want commitment with you but they are also very messed up so you're dealing with someone who is very messed up they might be having a lot going on in their own life which is not letting them come towards you completely so maybe that's that yeah i keep on seeing that somebody that you're dating or dealing uh, is going through some sort of a major transformation in their own life which is not letting them come towards you completely so maybe that's that what is the outcome between Sagittarius and this person in the month of April seven of sword yeah this person is gonna give you a hard time in the month of April is what I see you're hoping for commitment they're not ready for it in the month of April it might not come so Sagittarius for the person on your mind I see that this person is very wishy-washy well in, in and out um because they have a lot that is going on in their life they are not able to commit to you like strongly that's what i see but there is someone else which is like a brand new person um you don't have a history with them but this person like they, they want this love with you <laughs> so that is that somebody is dropping hints at subtle hints that they want you um so you might just explore that option but when it comes to this person on your mind they they have feelings but still very chaotic still very manipulative some of it's a air sign what a sign I don't know what sign so yeah with the person on your mind shitty shitty situation but for this new person there are good good opportunities right so that's that what is the advice for Sagittarius please seven of ones again your advice keeps on saying that um, you have great potential and you can have so much in your life provided you uh, stand tall for yourself you don't get manipulated and you don't manipulate anybody and um, you don't be stubborn so if you are open to receive in your life and if you don't build a guard around you I see that there is like so much coming towards you but if you keep on building a guard around you and like you keep on protecting yourself from the point of view that you will get hurt or cheated or whatever and you're like too skeptical to try new things it's gonna limit your potential so be very very careful Sagittarius like do not limit your potential you have so much that's coming towards you but I see that you might just screw up by not paying attention so that is that yeah and when it comes to your person I see that yeah you love them they love you but they're still but they're still shitty so like I'm not gonna call garbage diamond I'm gonna call garbage garbage so this is a garbage situation with the person on your mind uh, instead of this if you open yourself to this new opportunity I see it's it's much better full of potential so there is somebody around you who you might not have 
a history with but this person loves you adores you is dropping subtle hints focus on that and i see that you have an intuition that they like you and they do yeah but the person on your mind super messed up super overwhelmed in their own life like they're so disbalanced in their own life they cannot give you the stability like a disbalanced disoriented person cannot give you stability honey like you need to understand that yeah all right give me message for sagittarius please message for sagittarius days just passed by without you somebody's days are just passing by without you this person thinks about you a lot i was tired of fighting with you so i see that uh, you and this person on your mind you might have disconnected because there was a lot of fights happening between the two of you so they might have disconnected you disconnected i don't know somebody disconnected but there is love i see yeah i i acknowledge that there is love but it's still toxic love so i i would suggest you to like go for something better you know i give me a message for sagittarius please honeymoon so some of you are definitely see that there is somebody around you like loves you adores you they want to spend time with you you may also get an opportunity if you focus on this so some of you you may go on a vacation with this person good times being spent or whatever so that's that and free yourself you really need to free yourself and like take back control from this separation with this person i see that you have been in a separation with somebody but you still keep on giving your energy to, to, to this person and the situation pull back your energy focus on your size like you have so much potential but you're wasting on this person because they are indecisive like if somebody is indecisive do not waste your life for that <laughs> no you are not born to struggle you know you're born to slay always remember that yeah so that's your reading i hope this helps and resonate if it does make sure you subscribe like share comment i will see you very soon in the next video <laughs> you guys take care stay safe bye